Hey, what's up? This is Anthony with the Fell, and this is Anti Hero Online. How's it feel to have a new frontman fronting the band? It, it feels amazing. Um, it's it's uh, it's definitely a major relief for us. We spent uh, a whole of forty eight hours losing our shit um, about what we're gonna do, but it uh, it turned out much uh, for the better, much better for us, I think. And you guys actually went and re-recorded Footprints. What kind of led you guys to um, wanting to re-record a song instead of, you know, kind of just like, all right, we did it, it's done, let's work on something new? I think, uh, I mean, we just wanted him to be a part of the band, and we didn't want to have it since it was so new. And uh, I mean, it was the day the day that we dropped our single. That yeah, the singer quit. I, I, I think it was the timing of everything. You know, had had this happened maybe a couple months down the road, we wouldn't have come gone back to this song. But I think since it was, we're literally talking about a day after the song was released that all of this transpired. You know, um, yeah, I, I think it, we had to give the song you know, the amount of uh, love that it deserves because I think it's a phenomenal song. And, um, you know, we, we I, I think I think we made the right choice to go back and re-record it. For sure. And then we're, we're actually in the studio right now doing the entire record. Um, so Anthony's here this whole, this week and um, we're, we're finishing recording the rest of the record and then we're off to L.A. to do some rehearsals for our upcoming September tour. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and, and this is for Anthony. Were you a fan of the band before you kind of joined in, or was this like a spur on a moment thing? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I became a fan the moment I heard uh, heard Footprints, which was about uh, four days ago. Um, <laughs> so I became a fan about two minutes before I was asked to become the the, the new frontman. And there's no live shows under the belt. Like you guys are just pretty much going through getting the framework laid out. How do you feel about the onstage chemistry? Um, I mean, the band has great chemistry. All of us um, have played together at Bandwise uh, before Anthony came in. So we've all, all played in different variations of different bands together. Um, the drummer and I have known each other since I've been 13 years old and have played in a ton of projects together. And Billy and Randy play in different uh, things together. So the band already has great chemistry. And then we're just adding someone who I have great chemistry with. Um, Anthony and I have worked on his record. Uh, before doing this so I think it's just a really great bunch of guys that it's all about having fun and and just uh, doing music together the music we love you know so there was a bond between you guys before any of this even transpired pretty much yeah yeah absolutely absolutely Mike and I worked um, like he said on, on another project before and we just you know we, we wrote really well together just a great vibe so you know yeah, that, that's why I, I immediately said yes when, when I was given the offer to do this. You mentioned the fall tour coming up. Um, what are you guys looking for the most with that tour? Mm. Just you know? Getting out and playing. <laughs> just, just playing in front of, you know, people that love music, man. It's just, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling, you know, for every musician, I think. Everything is worth it once you're on the stage, you know, all this stuff. So, yeah. Seeing people's reactions and getting out there and seeing different places, different states, different people in different venues. And then um, right after the tour, we're going to go to uh, Britain and do some press. We're actually going to go play soccer. Anthony and I are going to go mm -hmm. do a celebrity soccer event. And I think where I'm probably going to twist my ankle, um, but it's all worth it for the art. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. I'm going to fall on my face and, trip and we're gonna get our asses kicked but i think we're playing we might be playing against like iron maiden or simply red or something and maybe that could be really fun yeah that'd be awesome and if you guys do draw iron maiden are you just gonna forfeit because they play soccer all the time yeah we're just gonna yeah. we're just gonna give in i'm gonna lay down and cry <laughs> on the field <laughs> or just just start drinking beer yeah exactly exactly <laughs> And with the tour, uh, can you announce any places that you guys are going to be touching down? Any dates yet, or is that all still kind of on the DL? We know we have a couple 
dates. We have one just outside of Detroit. Um, we have um, Rochester, New York, I think is one that's in the books. We have Niagara, Buffalo, that's in the books. And then I think we're hitting, um, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but we're uh, hitting Ohio, um, New Jersey, I believe, Pennsylvania, I think is one of the ones. So kind of just a short run. There might There's talk of Boston and We've even heard that there might be some Canadian days, but we only have a nine-day run, so it's going to be like kind of in and out, and then uh, we got to take off to England for a, a week, and then um, in the new year we're going to be hitting Europe pretty hardcore, I think. Oh, that's awesome! That's really incredible yeah. for you guys to be able to, you know, do a little bit of stuff, get the chemistry down, and then hit Europe really hard. Yeah, we're really hoping that the, the song starts to connect because uh, that will enable us to be playing a lot more and getting out there. That's what we really want to be doing is keeping that schedule filled and playing a bunch of shows. And since Anthony has side projects that he's working on, is there any possibilities for you guys to be going back into the studio a little bit sooner once you re-record this album? Because I know he has some stuff that he's got written. Well, I guess, I mean, we're going to try to finish this entire record so we can release this in February. And then Anthony took, uh, took he took a little hiatus from his solo project to kind of be able to do this for a bit, if that's what you mean. Um, so we're just going to kind of get this record done and then hopefully release it in February. And then tour our brains out and um, until we can't tour anymore and then come back and like start writing another record. But... I guess all of us are writers too, so that process is never going to stop. I'm sure that we'll be writing the next record while out on tour or in between dates we'll be working on it. So it's the never-ending uh, story of songwriting. We're just going to keep it going and pumping them out. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And for Anthony, how do you find that balance between balancing your solo act and now the fell? Yeah, I'm just going to be taking... Uh, putting my solo stuff on, you know, taking a break from it for now and just focusing on this. Um, you know, I'm really excited to get to work with these guys. So, and what can fans kind of expect from the new album? Um, the people that have heard the old vocalist and now Anthony moving in, what, what can they kind of expect? Well, thankfully nobody's really heard the old vocalist on the album because with the only song that's been released is footprints. So, um, they're gonna. They can expect a really diverse album with a lot of rock, a lot of fun things. There's moments of some shred stuff with Billy and I, a lot of vocal sickness. I mean, just gonna be, <laughs> Anthony's gonna belt his brains out, and then there'll be intimate moments. It'll be great, great drumming. A just, lot of tears. A lot of tears. Yep. Yeah. Um, we have a tribute to Justin Bieber on part of it for Anthony. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> because <laughs> we know he's a big Justin Bieber fan yeah yeah, yeah. Um, no there's um, it's just gonna be um, kind of a, a mesh of all of our favorite styles but it's in general it's a rock record and um, you know it's kind of some songs will kick ass and some songs will uh, hopefully uh, make you feel something and how big was the blow to you guys like right when you got done recording an album now you have to find a new lead singer um, I guess initially we were like, uh, what the fuck? Um, but then, uh, I mean, as soon as I knew that Anthony was into doing it, I was relieved and excited about, uh, revisiting the songs and making them the best they could be. The bonus is, is nothing was finished yet. So, um, it's kind of like, we're still in the process of making the record. And even though it's a little bit of a, a, a back set, as far as the production goes, it's, we're still we were still not settled on anything being final anyway. Hopefully this can lead to bigger and better opportunities for you guys. It's kind of like a rebirth at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's kind of like a rebirth, but just being born the first time. Yeah. We're really lucky because it was one day. Really one day is, is kind of like, it, it seems weird, but we released a song and the same day the singer quit and 24 hours later or 48 hours later, we had Anthony in the studio re-recording the song. That, so we're so that's how fast we kind of moved on it because it's so new. We almost like we almost don't want to talk about the last singer who will remain nameless right now. <laughs> um, 
as if, as if this is like the first the first time anyone's seeing the band. Unfortunately, we had a couple couple hours with someone heard another another singer, but we're you know hopefully we're moving on past that, and we plan on putting a new video for that song out this week. So yeah. um, that might clear up some things too iTunes should be updated, so the new song, like everything, is should be swapped out by now. I'm not sure if Spotify is updated yet, but definitely uh, iTunes is is was on it 24 hours later. I think the Spotify is updated because I just added it to one of my playlists. Awesome. Well, thanks for adding it. Cool. When you guys go back and redo the music video, are you guys going to kind of keep the same concept, or are you going to take it in a new direction? No, we I, we it's a completely different music video. You know, we didn't try to recreate anything. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I think people will really, really dig it. It's totally different. And with Anthony's acting background, because mm-hmm. we got we got to bring the Jack Sparrow in this. Um, right. Are, Absolutely. <laughs> are you guys gonna allow him a little bit of creative input when it comes to the video styling? Is everybody going to have like an equal say in this? Yeah, every, I mean, it's Anthony's super creative, and uh, he was very, very involved in the new video. Ex- extremely hands-on with it. Um, so, yeah, creative styling. We're going to lean to him in video direction because he knows his shit on that department. And um, but I think it, the band is a band, and everyone's an equal member, so we all value each other's input and. Um, respect that and that's kind of how we work we uh always call each other to ask what's up and what what uh what one another is feeling and it's going to continue to be that way there's no there's no one person that's kind of like more in charge than anyone else Mm. that's pretty much everything that i have that i wanted to talk to you guys about uh is there anything that i didn't touch on that you guys want to add what do you think no, we're just we're super excited to get this new video out, and, and you know we're working on more music, and you know, yeah, we're just doing our thing. Yeah, awesome. Well, you can find us at the fellmusic.com, the fellmusic.com, and I believe Facebook is the same. The Fell Music and our Twitter, I'm hoping, is the same. Uh, <laughs> Fingers crossed on that one. We have to double check. Yeah, um, but definitely, our you can find every link from our website and. In yeah. iTunes, you can find us under the Fell with a period after it. Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, and um, YouTube.